guys. I think it's time we talk about pre-workout. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy Lake here, and today I bring you guys a brand new video. But before we do get in the video, make sure to smash the like button. Let's hit 10 likes on this video, guys. It just helps out the algorithm. Don't forget to head down to the links in the description below. My Twitch, my Twitter, my TikTok, and of course, my Discord. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Pre-workout. We've all heard about it. We've all heard about the amazing things that it can supposedly do. But what happens when you want to buy your own? What do you look for today? That will be answered in this video. Now, my very first rule whenever I am shopping for a pre-workout is avoiding proprietary blends at all costs. You don't know what you're getting. They could be just saying, all right, here's all the ingredients. This is how much they weigh but you don't know how much you're getting of each ingredient, all right? You could be getting a proprietary blend and only 100 milligrams of caffeine. It says it'll promise you skin dairy focus and insane bumps when really it's equivalent to a cup of coffee. Next thing that I always look for when I'm buying a pre-workout, it's more of a personal preference. If you do not care, then that is perfectly fine. But I always try and avoid one scoop serving, two scoop serving pre-workouts. Now, the problem with this is that it's like you get 40 servings for $50 and you're like, oh my gosh, that's insane. But when you look at the one scoop serving, you're not getting the recommended doses for the promised benefits. If we take a look at this Krishna Guzma collab with Ghost, full serving is two scoops, all right? Now, that is 25 servings. You don't wanna know how much I paid for this? Over $50, it's over $2 per serving. That is why I do love companies like Rice. and no, this is not a sponsored video whatsoever. Right here, you get 30 servings. I pay like $45, depending on where you get it. You get the full dosages for everything that you would want in one scoop. And they do it without promising you get 40 servings or you get 50 servings per tub, when in reality, you're getting half servings. Now, the next thing to look for in a pre-workout, everybody, is to avoid the pseudoscience or these abstract ingredients that don't have a lot of research behind them. First ingredient that comes to mind is Buffed Up's Deer Antler Velvet. Promise that it accelerates recovery and that it just allows you to perform better in the gym. There is a study uh, done in 2003 where a group of 38 males were given uh, the Deer Antler Velvet that is found in Buffed Up, showed to be inconclusive. There really was no endocrine, red blood cell mass, or VO2 mass changes in any of the 38 males. So the study showed that there were very inconsistent findings and that there was no real backing behind the deer antler velvet that bucked up as promising. I suggest you all look for ingredients that have been highly studied uh, throughout the industry that have had hundreds upon thousands of studies and theories behind them. For example, caffeine. Now there was a study done in 2021 that took 40 male handball athletes and they were each given nine milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of their body mass. This study was done in order to see if that amount of caffeine would be able to decrease the amount of time it took to contract the muscles. The muscle study in this was the gastrocnemius medialis. Contraction time did actually decrease from 20.3 uh, milliseconds to 18.43 milliseconds, give or take three milliseconds or so. Anywhere from three to nine milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight will actually improve mechanical activity of the skeletal muscle. It is recommended that you take anywhere from three to six grams of L-citrulline in order to get the positive effects. Now, L-citrulline is actually commonly found in watermelon. It can actually increase the amount of L-arginine in your body and decrease the blood pressure. But when used chronically, it can in fact increase vascularity, AKA gives you a pump. Now my next favorite ingredient, a little bit of a controversial one. I know some people don't like the butthole itches. It's a butthole. I know some people don't like feeling there's ants on their skin, but the next ingredient that I love is beta alanine. Beta alanine, what essentially it does, it acts as a buffer for lactic acid. The pH imbalance that ends up happening when you are lifting. That is the lactic acid. When you do dose it four to six weeks, anywhere from four to six grams daily. However, 3.2 grams has been shown to be sufficient. And then, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys made it this far in the video, you guys might as well be like a sum. So please, 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 Hit that like button and subscribe. It just helps with the channel a ton. Again, head like, guys. Comment below your favorite pre-workout ingredient. It's been your boy Link. Remember, be better than you were yesterday. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Miss get to the bed. Do it She just want to move it fast. And my shawty, she bad. On cam, throw it back. Get that bread by any means. Shit that ass. Because my shawty, she bad. She finna.
finesse with the